ready for some football? On the Clock presents the NFL Stars of Tomorrow. Welcome to the War Room. When legendary Florida State football coach Bobby Bowden took the FSU job back in 1976, he likened his new association with FSU to a marriage, even adding the familiar phrase of letting no man put it asunder. The school's athletic teams are called the Seminoles. This Native American name is used with the official sanction of the Seminole Tribe of Florida Incorporated. Florida State University strikes fear in the heart of college football, means that you are in Tallahassee, and that the Seminoles are about to enter the field. Deion Sanders is considered one of the greatest cover cornerbacks ever. He played for the Atlanta Falcons, the San Francisco 49ers, the Dallas Cowboys, the Washington Redskins, and the Baltimore Ravens. Deion Primetime Sanders, you are on the clock. A super fast Florida State lockdown cornerback, ready to break up the pass in the NFL. Dion attended North Fort Myers High School in North Fort Myers, Florida, and was a letterman in football, basketball, and baseball. He was an All-State honoree in all three sports. In 1985, Sanders was named to the Florida High School Association All-Century Team which selected the top 33 players in the 100-year history of high school football in the state of Florida's history. Sanders was also a star in three sports for the Florida State Seminoles, participating in football, baseball, and track. Dion won the Jim Thorpe Award in 1988. He was also a standout punt returner for Florida State, leading the nation in 1988 with his punt return average and breaking the school's record for career punt return yards. Beginning his freshman year, he started in the Seminole secondary in football, played outfield for the baseball team that finished fifth in the nation, and helped lead the track and field team to a conference championship. At Florida State, under head coach Bobby Bowden, Sanders was a two-time consensus All-American cornerback in 1987 and 1988, and a third-team All-American in 1986, intercepting 14 passes in his career, including three in bowl games, and managed to return one interception 100 yards for a touchdown. In the era of Bo Jackson, in being a multifaceted athlete, Dion also excelled in both football and baseball. Bo Jackson's Bo Knows should have also included I Already Did by Dion.